Hello, I'm Mike Jones. I'm the leader of your new council, Cheshire West and Chester. This council is replacing the four existing councils and in doing so we are not looking to recreate any of the existing councils in the way they do things. We are looking on building on best practice and creating a new council with a new culture and a new way of doing things. Something that's fresh, lively, innovative and creative and exciting. Something that the members can be proud of and you as residents can be proud of being associated with. We are looking at how our members can integrate themselves and become involved, fully involved in your communities to work with and support you in living and improving your quality of life. We want our members to be champions within their communities and in doing so you'll see following on from this uh, short interviews with your ward councillors so that you can recognise who they are. They're making commitments and promises to be more involved in your community and to assist you and your community groups in delivering those improvements within your communities. I'm Keith Musgrave. I've been a councillor for 22 years and I've lived in Hartford, part of the Abbey Ward, for 42 years. I was the Mayor of Vale Royal in 1998-99 and I led Vale Royal Council from 2003 to 2007. Hello, I'm Jan Mashlin. I was elected four years ago under the council. I've lived in Davenham for 20 years and I've worked on the parish. I'm Herbert Manley. I live in Hartford, representing Abbey Ward, and I have been living there for 40 years. One of the main issues that involve Hartford is that uh, we have the largest educational campus in Europe. We have a population of 5,000 students which outnumbers the number of the normal population. And this causes quite uh, horrendous traffic congestion problems, particularly in the morning and in the evening. Uh, it also causes uh, uh, problems with parking in the village. And hopefully uh, we have, have certain moves in the pipeline which will address these. This issue is a, a big issue for the local community because as people are taking their children to school, the volume of traffic is very high. As Keith says, we are trying to actually overcome the difficulty, but this includes also parking, where people park uh, not in a very uh, good way in front of residential properties. And a lot of the issues as well locally are the lack of facilities for the youth of our communities. The play areas are either not there or they very badly run down. We are hoping to improve the play areas, um, but we certainly need a lot more help with the youth of the communities because the facilities are just not there for them. And with facilities, if we looked for the actual rural areas of our um, ward, such as uh, Whitegate and Martin down in uh, Wimbosley, we do need to remember that these communities need sustaining, the local schools need keeping open, the post offices need uh, uh, keeping open, so that the actual communities can be sustained and work for the future. What we want to do as local councillors is that we all go to our local, local parish councils, but in the very near future you will see on the actual uh, website for the council that we are going to have local community boards where people can come along and express their views in a local way and local areas so that we can meet them and get they can give us our ideas. We, we do need the community to come to us and they've elected us to represent us so they do need us. They need to tell us their issues. Uh, it's very important that we you know they communicate with us. We do involve ourselves considerably in the local community uh, certainly we all go to our local parish councils when we can have a cross fertilisation of information we can pass on what the uh, borough is doing and they can tell us what the parish council is doing. We go to local schools and talk to them on such, such subjects as local politics and the Northwich Vision which is a major redevelopment in our area uh, and I'm on, the, I'm on the Civic Society which of course has drawn up things like uh, village plans and um, village environmental studies. So we try to get involved with every possible opportunity. This shows you, I think, how interactive we are within the community, but we need to do better in the future yeah. and link out to those people who are not 
perhaps so vocal, no, or don't want to express their concerns in a local way, and we can actually reach out to them. And we need to let the elderly of the community know we're there. They are very... They're very, um, what am I looking at? They're very proud people. So to approach them, we have to learn to be more obtainable to them. Yeah, if I had a single message to the people, I'd say, come to us. We mm. want to know what you want. Exactly. If you don't tell us what you want, then we're not in a position to help you. So we're always available. Our doors are always open. Mm. We, we've lived in our respective areas for a considerable number of years, and people should know where we are, and they can come to us at any time. Exactly. We'd be grateful if the local uh, com uh, people would contact us. Our names and addresses are on the website. And I also do a blog so they can actually make sure when we do blogs, and yes. perhaps Jan will do one also soon, yeah. that they can actually know what we're up to and how we're working.